Bars and crackers. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Alyssa from Arts and Crackers and today I get to review the Dyson DC59 Motorhead. It's a cordless handheld vacuum mm -hmm. and it's one of their newer models actually. It comes with a whole ton of pieces. Today I'm going to just try out a couple of them. I've not tried it before yet. But uh, we're going to work on the stairs first. So I'm going to see how this attaches. Okay. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I've got him in my arms, but I'm going to use this, I think it's the mini motorized tool. Alright, I'm going to try another tool with the big mess that my son made. I believe this one's called a multi-tool. and clean. Okay, overall, I really have to say I love this vacuum cleaner um, for multiple reasons. It's really lightweight, um, which is nice compared to a lot of vacuum cleaners that are really bulky. Um, it comes apart really easily and snaps right back together. There are multiple parts for it. I like all the different tools because they have the crevice one, for getting in the corners when stuff just gets stuck between the wall and the carpet. Um, they have ones that work on hard floors and carpeting, which is awesome because a lot of them you have to do all these crazy adjustments just to use it on like hardwood or linoleum. Um, I really like the turbo button on there because it actually did a really great job sucking up. If you can kind of see inside of here, it's a whole bunch of trash. That is about two of my steps on the turbo mode, which is actually really sad, but it's awesome that it cleaned it that well. Um, I like that the trigger button is really easy to use, and I also love that the filter, uh, you can see it right here, it's washable, which is really cool because you don't have to keep buying bags, or I had another handheld one at one point, that it was just a pain. You could pull it apart, but it's always dirty. You couldn't wash it. Uh, it didn't have very good suction power. This is awesome for a handheld. And the fact that you can use it, the big long one for everything, or just put it on the front here and use it tiny. Uh, the other thing that I really do like about this too is that you don't have to just stick it somewhere standing up like that. Uh, there's actually a mount that you can stick this into up on the wall, which is handy because then I can put it out of the kid's reach. The only thing I don't like about that is that the larger heads, um, the mechanical ones, don't hang on there. It's just for the smaller parts, which is fine. I just have to find another place to store them. Uh, <laughs> this button right here, if you click it, it doesn't just fall off. You actually have to pull it off which I think is pretty neat because then it's harder for him to accidentally pull it apart yeah. if he grabs it. It's so easy to use that my kid can actually use it, which is a big score for Mama. <laughs> Alright, get these ones. To find out more, visit my blog, artscrackers.com. You can find a direct link to this post in the description below.